let us solve another problem on this sparse matrix so now in this particular case we shall not consider any regular pattern of existence of non zero data onto a sparse matrix so here is the problem so here we are having uh, 5 cross 6 matrix so here row max and color max is equal to 6 so the dimension number of non zero data number of non zero data is equal to 4 because in the rest places we are having zeros we know that sparse matrix is that very matrix where most of the locations are containing zeros and some of the data will be non zero but here this data they have got scattered in such a way in a such a fashion that they are not in a regular geometrical pattern shape so that's why how to represent this one so different proposals from can come from different people so here i can also propose one type of uh, this sparse matrix mapping so that you can do it with a lesser number of memory locations memory requirements so here the total memory required is r max into c max that is the total memory required to store only four non zero data okay now what i shall do that i shall propose one two dimensional array which will hold this particular sparse matrix without any loss of uh, data okay now the size of my the size of my uh, proposed two dimensional uh, array will be like this that is my n z so that will be my n n of n z plus 1 whole into 3 that means number of non zero data plus 1 so that number of rows and three columns so this number of rows and three columns and that will be the size of my proposed two dimensional array with the help of which this sparse matrix will be represented without missing any originality of data or information okay so here is my proposal so here lies my proposal where in the first row we are having we are telling that this particular matrix is having five rows and six columns and four number of non zero data so i'm defining the size of the matrix so the data will not be lost and also the number of non zero data so how many number of non zero data will be there that is four so next four rows will be containing the respective row number column number and the data itself like this row number one column number two data is 10 1 2 10 and the next one 3 1 23 so 3 1 23 in this way i did the rest so what is the total size that is number of non zero data 4 plus 1 so this is the size into n into uh, number of uh, non zero data plus 1 into 3 3 means always it will be having three columns now if we populate this particular matrix with other non zero values then here the number of rows will increase so now obviously this representation will be good enough if if nz plus 1 into 3 that is the dimension of my proposed matrix is lesser than r max into c max so when it is okay so when this inequality will hold good then only this representation will be better compared to this one so that means if the non zero data number is going on increasing then this particular matrix will be having multiple rows so obviously in that case it will also occupy more and more space in the memory so this is the inequality after which when this inequality will hold good then up to that level this representation is better compared to the original one in this way we have solved another problem on this sparse matrix thanks for watching this video